It's winter in Minnesota, but a Fillmore County family is still growing several acres of crops in a shipping container. John Lortzen shows us how hydroponic farming is allowing them to haul in a big winter harvest. It's the time of year when fertile fields are buried under snow and ice. In a sense, it's winter break for farmers, but not in the town of Wycombe. We've got uh, like a summer crisp and a romaine, and then I got some basil. A few months ago, Tony Ray and his wife Kelly came to the realization that farming doesn't have to end in the fall. So they bought a shipping container, installed a hydroponic system, and went to work growing vegetables. Just found it and then just did some research on it and just kind of fell in love with the, the whole idea of it. You know, I can grow four acres right here. And they do it without any soil and no chemicals, plus no competition from wildlife. It only takes five gallons of recycled water to grow all these crops. Gravity is the main force, pulling the water from the ceiling to the floor as vegetables grow sideways on walls. There's no soil other than the peat moss pods that we start the seed in. It's important to know that this type of farming is unique because it isn't a greenhouse, which means photosynthesis happens in other ways. These LED lights are on from 14 to 18 hours a day. The red acts as sunlight and the blue stimulates root growth. And it's actually really exciting when people come in to look at it. They're just like in awe. They can't believe that we can do this vertically on a wall. I got my radishes right on the end so I can eat while I'm working. <laughs> Radishes, kohlrabi, arugula, and a variety of other lettuces can go from the wall to a kitchen table in a matter of hours. There's a harvest nearly every winter day, which is exactly how Ray of Sunshine Farms wants it. I can take that to a restaurant and they'll have fresh lettuce within three hours. That's pretty much my, my goal is just to let people enjoy what nature can give us. In Fillmore County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Rays sell to a number of families and can be found on the Minnesota Grown website. They hope to build a second container for flowers. A hydroponic system is not cheap to build. Depending on the size, it can cost more than $20,000 to get started. But the Rays say there are a number of grant programs that help.